Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here, coming to you live from the Ice Age studios from our headquarters here in Sterling, Virginia. Today we're going to bring you an instructional video for the ice plate sleeve and ice plate sleeve combo. We're going to cover what each package includes. We're going to go over our hydration magazine concept, uh, which is the foundational design philosophy for ice plate sleeve. And then we're going to show you how to set up ice plate sleeve on the inside and outside of any carrier, any and every carrier on the market. So let's get started. All right, so let's dive into the package and see what's included. So first we have our laser cut uh, ice plate sleeve. And then on the back side, you see we have 96 inches of one wrap, which is what we're going to use to create our single map loops. And we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, we've also got a core performance sticker here. And then digging in a little bit deeper, we've got our ice plate curve. This particular model is a Coyote magnetic freezer cap here and an instruction card. If you are watching this video uh, in 2020, chances are you're going to see this instruction card. If you're watching this in late 2020, somewhere around the December and later time frame, this is going to be a hang tag that's going to have a universal QR code. It's going to take you right to our instructions page where you're going to be able to uh, see everything you need. All the resources will be up to date. It's going to be totally awesome. Okay, a little bit further here, we have our Source 90 drink tube. And this also has our ice cap as well as our ice cap safety shims in it. All right, so let's talk real quickly about the design philosophy behind ice plate sleeve. Uh, the principal idea, this is a uh, traditional uh, carrier, the Cry AVS, and we've got our ice plate sleeve here. So hydration as a magazine is really our vision for the future of how we think that hydration can be more powerful, more convenient, and better really in every way and help everybody unlock the full potential of the water that they already have to carry. And here's what we mean by hydration as a magazine. If you think of your primary or secondary weapon system, think of the magazine well and then think of the magazine itself. What we're going to do with ice plate sleeve is ice plate sleeve allows you to add what is practically speaking a second plate bag onto your carrier. And then because ice plate curve is the identical geometric profile as medium e sappy armor plate, you can then move your ice plate curve and your armor plate interchangeably between the two bags, between ice plate sleeve and whatever armor bag is on whatever carrier that you're running at the time. So if you need the conductive cooling and heating benefits with hydration, then you wear your ice plate sleeve inside whatever plate bag is on the inside touching your body. If you only want external hard cell hydration, you need the benefits of all of that. You got heavy loads you got to carry and you cannot have your water system fail on you, then you go ahead and you can run your ice plate curve on the outer sleeve, whichever one is not touching your body or the bag, whatever it happens to be, depending on how you have it set up. So then when you deplete your ice plate curve, your magazine, then you just remove your ice plate curve from the bottom of the ice plate sleeve, reach into your gun truck, your whatever you got going on, your patrol car, you grab a second ice plate curve, and then you reload the magazine well, or in this case, the ice plate sleeve or the plate bag, depending on where you have them positioned. So if you think of them as a magazine well and a magazine and interchangeably moving the components, the armor and the ice plate curve, uh, on their position relative to your body, that will give you the mission adaptability and the capability that you need for any situation, any climate, no matter what, and you'll be good to go all the time. So that's a quick, a quick dive into our design philosophy for ice plate sleeve. Let's go ahead and get into the setup. We're going to show you inside and outside the carrier. All right, so let's dive into how to set up your ice plate sleeve uh, on the outside of any carrier on the market today. So what we have with us here is a Cry AVS, a traditional carrier used by a lot of folks, a lot of our customers. And what we're going to do is cover how to mount this like this. Uh, basically, how to mount ice plate sleeve on the outside so that you get external hard cell hydration or interchangeable uh, dual plate bags. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the ice plate sleeve and we're going to line up uh, the a molly row. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one and make sure that it matches the footprint. So you can see um, that the footprints here are kind of matching up. And because ice plate sleeve is laser cut, you can kind of see this with negative uh, maps you can pretty easily use the laser cut negative maps to line up the molly. 
Okay, and then you're going to drop it in place. And then thankfully, the Cry AVS has a little bit of loop facing outward, so the inward facing hook on your ice plate sleeve will be able to help anchor it, which will make it just a little bit easier uh, to mount. So next, we're going to take the one wrap, and we gave you 96 inches, we included 96 inches of one wrap so that you can make uh, like a fair number of mistakes, okay? What we advise is we advise cutting three or four inch sections of one wrap, you can see here. And the reason we advise that is that we're gonna use these to then create single map loops. And we're gonna show you what that is right now. So we go ahead and open up our ice plate sleeve. And then we're gonna take our single map loop and we are going to run it through the negative map on ice plate sleeve, through the traditional webbing based molly on the AVS, and then through the next negative map. And then we're gonna seal them, and don't worry, I'm gonna hold this up in a second and show you what we got going on here. All right. Okay, so I used a four inch section for this, and you can see here that what I did is I looped the one wrap section through the negative maps here. This might work a little bit better. And then I brought it all the way around, and then I tucked the tail into the Molly on the AVS so that nothing shows. Now, the idea here is that you can create as many of these uh, three or four inch single map loop sections as you want, and you can add them to as many different spaces in any configuration that you want, all depending on your load. So if you're just carrying the hydration and the 50 ounces of water, it's not really that much, so you could probably get away with somewhere between four and eight single map loops, depending again on you, your use case, and how hard you are in your gear, what your setup is. But if you're gonna be running some heavier stuff on there, you might wanna scale it up. Uh, as Tyler would tell us all, make sure you do your pre-combat check, and make sure that you have sufficient uh, single map loops on there to secure whatever load it is that you're gonna be running. Uh, again, there's plenty of real estate on here. It was really important to give us, for us to give you the ability to scale the system so that you weren't stuck with a fixed amount of material, which is just more absorption, more unnecessary weight, more unnecessary complexity. This is designed to be a set it and forget it. You're gonna install this system once and you're never gonna to touch it again. You're just gonna be interchanging your ice plate curve hydration magazines. So that's pretty much how you set it up externally. Now we're gonna dive into an internal mount for plate carriers that have loop equipped internals. All right, so now let's dive into how to set up your ice plate sleeve internally. So this applies to any plate carrier that has a loop or molly field on the inside of the carrier itself. For the purposes of this video and demonstration, we're gonna use our ice plate EXO. But again, like I said, it applies to any carrier that has internal map or uh, loops. Our carrier, Ice Plate EXO, happens to have both to give you maximum uh, flexibility, maximum mounting options, as well as uh, passive ventilation, minimum surface area contact if you're not using a sleeve or uh, ice fence. So how do we do this? This is super easy, okay? All we're gonna do is take our Ice Plate sleeve and we're going to take the hook side, we're gonna make it face the loop, and then again, because Ice Plate sleeve is, has laser cut negative maps. It's gonna be very, very easy to just look through the sleeve and then line up the maps. And then once we've got them lined up, we drop it in, boom. Fits perfectly every time. Then we're going to take our Source 90 drink tube and we're going to route it before we put our ice plate curve in, very important. Ice plate sleeve features laser cut drink tube routing ports on both the left and right side, as well as laser cut uh, ambidextrous openings so that you can take either a left or right exit ice plate curve, again, to facilitate ambidextrous operation. We also have dual left and right side top laser cut drink tube routing ports, and these are to take up excess slack if you're a little bit shorter or if you just have too much hose and you want your kit to run a little bit tighter and prevent those snags, then you can run your drink tube through those top ports. So we're gonna just go ahead and quickly run our Source 90 through the side laser cut drink tube routing ports. Have it come out here. 
good to go. We already have our ice plate curve assembled with the ice cap resting in its default 12 o'clock orientation. And then I'm going to slide it into an ice plate sleeve. I'm going to connect the hose. I'm going to seal this up. Now we can put our armor in if we want. Doesn't really matter. We could do it either way. Um, again, if you want, you can use your three or four inch single map loops to provide additional security. Uh, it's not really necessary in most conditions, but again, uh, subject, your mileage may vary and subject to your mission and your application. Uh, so we just slide our armor plate back into the plate bag on Ice Plate XO. Boom, you're good to go. And now you have your hydration magazine concept all set up. You can move your armor plate and your ice plate curve interchangeably between the two pockets to get the, the uh, benefits that you need for that specific mission, that specific time of year, that specific climate. Hopefully that helps. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us from our brand new Ice Age Studios. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and hit that like button. We really appreciate it. It helps us out and hopefully it helps us to help you. And then please uh, subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss what we've got coming up. End of 2020 is gonna go, uh, gonna go real big. It's gonna be awesome. And 2021 is gonna be even bigger. So you're not gonna wanna skip a beat. And to do that, you're gonna wanna hit those notifications. So uh, make sure you activate those. And then we'll see you next time. Until then, stay frosty.